Time for Power Profile, sponsored by Salus Marineware. Cruisers Yachts continues to expand their line of hardtop express cruisers to meet customer demand. So this week on Power Profile, we'll take a look at one of their latest, the 390 Sports Coupe. Cruisers designers have done a nice job with the scale and proportions of the hardtop, so that the 390's lines flow smoothly, even with the canvas installed. The cockpit has rather a unique layout. The main cockpit has an L-bench that flows across the transom and up to the helm. But what makes the layout unique is the central positioning of the helm companion seat that allows two to join the captain while underway. Forward of the seat is a jump seat that can be expanded by inserting a cushion into the walkthrough steps. Utilizing two table legs and tops, the area converts into a small lounge for two. Other cockpit amenities include a sink with pressure water, storage with a trash receptacle, and an ice maker on the port side. Built into the base of the helm companion seating are dedicated bottle and glass storage. Rounding out the refreshment items is a refrigerator drawer in the helm seat base. The tall helm seat requires a fold-out step to reach, but the fully adjustable bucket seat with bolsters provides excellent 360-degree visibility sitting or standing. Front and center on the helm is a generous area for electronics. Principal engine gauges are placed above and 12 volt system switches are to the starboard. The fixed glass of the Sport Coupe's hardtop makes the optional cockpit air conditioning desirable, but the four foot sunroof provides great ventilation and opens up access to the walkthrough windshield. Up forward you'll find the optional sun pad and standard anchoring gear consisting of windless foot pedals, concealed windless, bow roller, and chain and line road. Access to the engine room is through an electric hatch. With the optional Volvo IPS gas pod drives, there is plenty of space to reach the Kohler generator at the transom as well as the electrical systems and other service points on the engines. Cruisers offers two cabin layouts for the 390 and our tester had the standard layout with a settee aft that easily converts to a berth instead of a mid cabin. The galley has cherry veneer cabinets and solid surface countertops. Appliances include a combined microwave coffee maker, a Novacool refrigerator freezer, a ceramic cooktop, and a single stainless sink. The head has a solid surface and cherry vanity, recessed lighting, and a separate shower stall. Forward the master stateroom and our tester had the optional solid bulkhead and door, and an angled double berth with good storage underneath, as well as in the gunnel cabinets and in a hanging locker. As luck would have it, test day here has been quite windy, blustery, a few rain showers, and there's a strong current running through the marina here. But we're fortunate that this 390 Sports Coupe is equipped with Volvo IPS 500 Gs, so we'll have joystick control departing the marina. With a light touch of the joystick, the 390 moved easily off the pilings and out into the channel to exit the marina. Running in the restricted confines of the Intracoastal Waterway, the Volvo IPS pods based on 8.1 liter 375 horsepower gas V8s had the 390 on plane in 12 seconds and pushed the boat to an impressive 41.2 miles per hour. Cruising at 3400 RPM and 27 miles per hour was quite comfortable even through the wash we kicked up in the narrow channels. For a cruising couple, a 39 Express Cruiser offers plenty of creature comforts for extended stays on board, and Cruiser's yachts certainly had that in mind when they designed the interior of the 390 Sports Coupe, but they also tossed in enough amenities that you can enjoy entertaining a gang for the day. We'll be right back after these messages.